Hey everyone, a uh, relatively quick tutorial here. Um, I'm just going to be showing you how to use the snow textures that are actually already in the game. Um, they just haven't been configured as a tile set. And then we're also going to use a little trick to make a weather effect of the snow, um, which you might have seen in my one of my maps that I had on Battle.net called Prisoner Rebellion. Um, it did have this, this, this exact sort of snow setup. Um, and if you're wondering how I had snow, since there isn't really snow at all in StarCraft 2, um, I'm going to be showing it here. So, um, in this case I'm going to be making just a blank new map to do it on. And by default I am going to choose Zill. Um, now, for dependencies, I'm just going to add them all just to be safe. Just to make sure we have every asset in the entire StarCraft 2 uh, uh, engine. And, uh, okay, Zill is good. And we'll press OK. Um, I think I use Zill because of the ambience and maybe the lighting, but uh, other than that, we're going to completely change the texture set after um, because it's not in this list as you just saw. Um, so the first thing is we have this map here. Um, we go straight into the data editor, and this is where we're going to have to make some stuff because everything's still sort of sitting inside the uh, inside the engine, but it's just not being used here. Uh, so if you open the data editor here, you click on the data type uh, drop down and go to terrain textures. And here's where our problem is. There's no snow, and the snow actually is called Nif Nilfheim, I think, or something like that. Um, so let's start off by just copying Zill Dirt, uh, copy paste it, and then double click it and change the name to be N I F. L H I E M Niflheim or Nilfheim. I still don't know how to pronounce that. And let's just call it Nilfheim Snow and click suggest. And I, I just know this is the name of the first one, um, but you can look this up. So, first things first is double click on editor icon, click browse, and let's search for N I F L. Uh, H. Okay, so you see there is all these textures here. These are all the all the snow textures. And um, I'm not actually going to be showing how to make the cliffs, um, but there is a cliff data type in here that you could probably make it. Um, as you can see, the textures are here. Um, I'm just going to use the different cliffs that look good enough, uh, and that's what I used in Prisoner Rebellions. In Prisoner Rebellion. Um, so let's see. Here is the regular snow, and what we need the editor icon for snow, which is that one there. Perfect. Press OK. Now the normal map. Press Browse. Come on. Um, search for NIFLH again. Uh, and now we need to find this snow normal. OK. So we got snow normal. And now we have to click on double click on texture here. Change it from Zill Dirt. And this one's going to be the actual snow texture N I F L H K uh, this one here so now we have this one thing set up here so to test this go to terrain texture sets tab if you don't have it you can open it here um, and let's find ours here Zill and let's scroll down to textures blend um, let's remove, let's remove the dirt, let's remove the first one, and then let's add in our, there it is, Nilfheim Snow, add it in, press OK. Now in game here, you can't actually do anything yet, and you, that's because you have to go to map, um, where is it, map textures, and pick that, and then click this, this button right there, and then choose that. So it just replaces it to that. And now we can see it. I don't know why it's like that. Um, maybe I just don't get it, but that's how it is. And uh, now we have the snow here, and we can paint it, which it actually is painted already because we just replaced it. Um, but the problem you can see is that it sort of looks orangey, and I think that's because of the lighting. So if we go back into the data editor here, back for the Zill texture set, and find the field lighting, and change it to Z. Is that cool? Does 
and press OK. And now you can see this looks like snow. It was just on really orangey lighting. And so we got one done, and I am going to do the other ones here. I'm going to speed, speed mode this while I do it, um, so you can go do it on your own. But basically you copy the snow here, rename this to dirt, and you'd have to you'd have to go into the into here um, and figure out all the different types. I mean, there is uh, snow, rough, dirt. Um, let's see, ice cracked, ice frosty. So you gotta go in here, figure out what they all are, then go back here and do it like that. Um, so after snow, let's do snow rough. Press OK and. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to fast forward this part, so um, I'll see you in a sec. Um, sorry, um, I have to rename some of them just as a note here, because um, I have decided to do uh, snow rough first. So um, when you saw I said dirt there and then I picked snow rough, um, I should have actually named it that. Um, instead of dirt because I did pick a different one and we should also remove these doodads thing here uh, we don't want it to actually make any sort of grass when the person generates foliage that would be kind of messy um, to have grass on snow it wouldn't really make sense um, but anyways now I'm going to go back to the fast forwarding while I finish this off Okay, so I've made them all now, and um, I will attach this map uh, in the description of the video, so if you don't want to have to go through this on your map, or on whatever map you want, um, you can just do this, go open this map, download it, open it, highlight these, right click, copy, and then go open your map, and then you can go into terrain textures and paste, and they'll actually paste from my map into this. But then after you do that, you still have to go into terrain texture sets, once you've made them all, and add them in, which we're going to do right now. So you've made all your uh, terrain texture snow things here. Go to terrain uh, texture sets tab. Click on Zill again. And um, let's just rename Zill now to be Niflheim. You could probably make your own and duplicate Zill, but in this case, I'm just renaming it. We don't actually need it anymore. Um, and let's see here under textures blend. Let's remove all of the Zill ones. And we still had that. Niflheim snow and let's add the other ones in. Okay, add. Can I shift? Yes, I can. Good. Okay, let's add all those in and that's it. We got all our snow textures in. Um, while we're in here, I think I want to change a few things like the creep texture, for instance. Um, Niflheim actually has its own creep texture. So just these little things I'm just going to fine tune. Um, creep under, I don't know what it's called, let me just search this way. Um, so we can set the creep on to be that, see it's a bit redder I guess, I don't know. Um, what else, the ambience, ambience we can change, uh, actually no, I'll leave that as Zill. Um, I think that worked out well, it's kind of windy sounding. Um, lighting is good. And now the cliffs, uh, Zill organic cliffs actually work really well, but the man-made ones I found uh, these the Zakul Das ones actually work quite well for man-made cliffs. Um, so save the map, and now that we got that in the texture set, we have to go into the uh, map here, map textures, and I don't know why it does this, but let me just paint them all, and then they're still here, even though I think if you reopen the editor, it fixes it, but I don't really have time to do that, so there we go. Drop them all, and now you can replace them all. So this will be dirt, this will be ice cracked, this will be ice frosty, ice smooth, rock, snow cracked, and snow rough. Okay. Now we should have all of our textures, and now you pretty much have a working snow map, so you can start actually painting some snow into your map and use all the textures that were in, that were blizzard textures, not, not just some custom custom made ones. These are all actually blizzard textures that are just that just happen to be not really supported. Um, 
So this is good and all, but we can take this one step further, and that is actually falling snow. So the best solution I found for this, because I don't really want to go into 3ds Max or something and actually make snow. It's kind of out of my power. So my solution was to take the the doodad called uh, if you if you switch doodad's layer by pressing D. Um, there's a doodad called Windy Ash, and it's just like an ash, bits of ash that fly around. And um, if you tint it really white to snow, it uh, to not to snow, it looks like snow if you tint it really white. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So just uh, search for Windy Ash here. And drop some, like, spread them out like that. Something like that is good. Um, and then go back into the data editor here. Click on data type drop down here and switch to the actors tab. All doodads are just actors, that's all they are. They're just visual pieces on the map. Um, and now we're going to search for uh, Windy Ash. And let's see, click on it, go to events, which is grayed out. Right click, add event. So when the actor is created, actor creation, the action we're going to do is set tint color. And the color is going to be white. And the other thing we need to do is set the HDR multiplier to 10. So it's just completely blotched out to 10. And that's all we need to do, really. Um, if we drop some units just so the map's not completely invisible when I go in game, uh, you will see that we will have some, it'll look like snow is falling. And, um, and it will be on a snow terrain set. So now you have pretty much a working snow map. So I expect to see some more Siberia maps and stuff. Or I hope to see some. Okay, I'm just going to put some of the cliffs we got here. You can see they fit pretty well. And the unit, like I said, for player one. So maybe some fire bat up here. Okay, and we'll go test. Okay, if we look here, we can see the uh, snow is falling. Uh, even though it is ash, it's tinted so white that it looks pretty much like snow. So I thank Blizzard for actually making that, that doodad that happens to fit perfectly for snow, as long as it's tinted white. And the terrain looks like cool snow. And um, that's all I really wanted to show for this tutorial. So uh, the, you can download the map and copy-paste stuff into yours or uh, make it yourself, but uh, like I said, I hope to see some more snow maps, and thanks for watching.